There's obviously been quite a bit of discussion about um, China's very aggressive actions right now towards Taiwan with the various violations of their. 美国陆军部长一号在华府智库演讲中点出中共对台湾的军事威胁为美国在印太地区面临的挑战之一，而如何避免发生台海战争，最佳策略就是加强与台湾的防务合作。What's most important? Is that we collectively work to avoid a war in the region? You know, obviously, that's that's the the best strategy is to. Make sure that our deterrent posture is sufficiently strong. 另外，沃姆斯也关切钓鱼台的主权争端以及中共在南海的军事化发展，希望能扩大在东南亚的驻军及基地安排来应对，并透露与菲律宾延长允许美军轮流驻守的协议十分重要。There is very much a desire to be able to expand our access and basing arrangements. More into Southeast Asia. It was very important that Secretary Austin was able to make as much progress as he did with the Philippines and the Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement. 而在台海局势升温之际，南华早报引述消息人士披露，在十一月拜登与习近平视讯会晤之后，美中两军一直保持着联系，双方计划将在明年一月举行高阶军事对话，军备控制将是会议上的重点之一。新唐亚太电视唐杰安整理报道。